so much for joining us. Welcome back to The Daily Share. I'm Joey Jackson. Yeah, Joey, and I'm Christy Paul with criminal defense attorney and former federal prosecutor here, Tanya Miller, by my side. Tanya, thank you so much for being here. So listen to this tweet that, that was sent out there. It says, honestly, Taya Kyle, the, the wife, we should point out, may be more of a hero than her husband with all she's faced these past two years. And Chris Kyle is the legend, America. You know, we've heard, um, and I've been reading on Twitter, that she, she's broken down uh, during parts of this trial. Getting her right out of the gate, mm -hmm. that had to hit the jury, don't you think? Absolutely. And that's no doubt why she was put up right out of the gate. Listen, prosecutors are not technically supposed to appeal to the emotions of jurors when they're presenting their evidence. Yeah. But it is very common in homicide cases to put up a witness who will humanize the victim, someone who loved him, someone who is devastated by this loss. And that's certainly what they've done by putting his wife up. Look, we know that she supported him when he went overseas. She took care of the kids. We, Those of us who've seen the movie or read the book have gotten some glimpse of that. And, you know, just when she gets him back home, he's still doing that, serving his country, trying to help other soldiers, and she loses him again in such a horrible and tragic way. I think that that is definitely an effort to make Chris Kyle even more a hero, but also showing just what kind of good person she is and how many sacrifices this family has made. Yeah. yeah. And Tanya, speaking about humanizing and good people and sacrifices, you know, we're seeing tweets about Chad Littlefield's mom, mm -hmm. and she was saying that today, Tanya, would have been his 38th birthday. Gosh. And so when you look at that, what effect do you think that has uh, on the, the victim from a defense perspective? You know what, uh, Joey, I have tried cases where right in the middle of trial or at some point during the trial, it was the victim's birthday or some significant date in the victim's life. When juries hear that, that is a powerful piece of evidence because, again, not only is the jury thinking, wow, this is a horrible tragedy, I'm so sorry that this has happened to this person, but it really brings it home to them because they start to think about, wow, you know, today would have been a, a, a happy day for him. This was his birthday. He should be celebrating. And here we are listening to this horrible tragedy. So about it is definitely, it is definitely impactful, I think. Yeah. All right. Hey, Tanya, thank you so much. We, we do you. want to get back to the courtroom here uh, because the drama is still unfolding. And Eddie Ray Ross 